rocket launchers are a good thing. They're fun to do. And making rockets is fun. The simplest way to do it is with a stomp rocket. And this is a store-bought stomp rocket launcher. And the crucial problem that this one has is it lost its riser, which um, makes it so that you can't launch anything. And that's kind of a nuisance. So, what I did was I cooked up this rocket launcher. And it consists of a couple of really simple materials. One is the mighty soda bottle and a piece of hose and a clamp for the piece of hose on each end of it. Three quarter inch PVC. A hose clamp that um, will hold it onto the board. A 90 degree elbow and then the riser gets you to where you launch the rocket from. And this is a super amazingly simple rocket that would not perform as wonderfully as a more carefully made rocket, but it'll work. And uh, one of the crucial things about this rocket is that uh, you want to make sure that this end is all sealed up real good. And um, you also want to make sure that there's a little bit of slip in between the paper rocket and the um, tube because if it's too tight then the air won't none of the air will be able to slip out the edges and you'll basically you'll just blow the top off of it um, but you can just make another one and so you want a little bit of looseness there in between the tube and the paper rocket you might want to put fins on it you might want to put a more exotic t uh, nose cone on it um, all of those will make it perform a little bit better. There's also a little bit of a um, gap in between the end of the tube and where the paper rocket is. And having a little bit of a gap there does seem to help um, allow it to work. Let me show you some of the, some of the materials and tools going on here. I found that these lath screws here worked real well. They get a wide head on them. They're only a half an inch and the uh, wood that I use is three quarters of an inch so that means that the screw doesn't come all the way through which is a nice thing. You don't have to worry about scratching up the floor or the tables or anything like that. Um, this one's a straight screwdriver and that works on the clamps, the hose clamps, and this one here is a Phillips head screwdriver and that works for those screws. This cutter here is a ratcheting cutter, very nice, um, and that will cut through the PVC. It'll also cut through the clear plastic tube. To make the rocket, you wrap it around this and then tape the seam and if you want to make a narrower rocket, this one's got a little bit of a shim on it so that you can insert this three quarter inch tube inside the, uh, uh, the half inch screw, half inch tube into the three quarter inch tube. That works out okay. I tried a couple different um, kinds of clamps and these plastic ones seemed like they were okay, but they were a little bit more expensive than these regular stamped metal ones. So I went the stamped metal ones. Also these um, half inch Phillips head screws uh, seemed to work okay. I just thought that the lath screws worked better. And all the materials for this are easily found in a regular hardware store. Uh, you might even be able to get the piece of paper that you need for the rocket in the hardware store. And so there is the under $10 stomp rocket launcher. Go out and make it.